Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slice with Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Mahoka Coco episode 24 and 25, which means we'll only have one more episode left after this, which means next week will be the finale of Mahoka Coco. But anyways, in the last episode, we got to see some Lu Gong Hu action. We got to see him fight Naotsumi, we got to see him fight Madi, and we got to see him fight our boy Tatsuya himself. And at first, he was kind of even, I'd say, with Naotsumi. I mean, both of them got a pretty good hit on each other. And then once he started fighting Madi and Tatsuya, that's when he finally got taken down. And then I'm guessing that's when we pretty much slapped the cuffs on him, threw him in an armored truck, and then they started taking him away. Unfortunately, we found out later in the episode that he ended up breaking out of the truck and now he's on the run. My guess is that he's still injured, so the good news is he still isn't 100%. But, I mean, what the heck is he up to now? I have no idea. And then later into the episode, we finally started the thesis competition, which is way more important than the nine schools competition, which is already super important because all the schools have students that are coming together and coming up with new inventions and ideas and discoveries that they want to share. And this is really important information that can be dangerous when taken into the wrong hands. And unfortunately, it seems like we're surrounded by the wrong hands because they noticed that in the audience, there's a surprising number of foreigners in there. And I'm guessing there might be a couple that are there just to see what's up, but I'm guessing there are also some spies in there trying to gather information. And actually, we even got evidence that there were foreign organizations targeting our schools so we don't know if they were trying to get evidence or trying to get their hands on uh, invention that we made but we know that they are definitely watching us and so we had to beef up our security we got the top of the line magician students posted outside the building bulletproof vests CADs in hands they're ready to go to war and it seems like we actually just might because the thesis competition or at least the end of the episode ends with a huge thud that we hear outside, a loud crash, and my guess is that it's the mech that we saw earlier. The mech seemed to be inside of like a truck or something, and so I'm guessing that mech finally mobilized. Somebody out there is trying to crash this party and we need to stop them. So can Tatsuya handle it? We'll just have to find out. So, if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description, and also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. All $2 patrons and up will be getting these episodes before anyone else on YouTube, so if you want to be the first in line to check out these episodes, then that will be the way to do so. But with that all finally out of the way, let's get right into this episode. Alright, so this is the part of the episode where you guys can either follow along or you can click the mega link in the Google Drive link in the description. Um, either way is fine, I guess. But if you're going to follow along with me, you can click the first source link, pull up the video, and get ready to sync it with me. Because we'll be starting it in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, got some intense music going on. Is this the mech truck? Dang! Wait, where are they? There's not even anyone in there! This has to be like a, like a bomb or something. Like it's... Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Dang. That must be what the crash was. Dang, be careful out there. Dang, they sent out a self-destruct truck to take down the control tower. I wonder what that control tower controls exactly. Is it like, um... I don't know, is it like uh, the source of the city's power or something? Like, why did they target that place specifically? 
And I wonder if it has anything to do with the, like, I don't know, maybe the thesis competition, like by taking that out, they might be able to bypass security easier or get the military's eyes off of them somehow. I'm not sure. But all I know is this episode's already starting off with some heat, man. That is definitely one way to kick off an episode, by blowing up a building. And then our boy is going out there to see what's up. But man, I really, I don't know what to expect, man. I still think that it's the mech, this mech right here, that popped up outside the thesis competition, but... Man... All right. Oh. Hmm. Dang, so they're all kind of striking at once. Or maybe it's like one organization striking from different angles. National Defense Forces. Hmm? What is that? He said send us something to Erica. Hmm. But this might not be our average organization. Dang, they got past our defenses already. Oh. They're not playing any games either. Dude, I wonder if Tatsuya, is he going to play by the rules? Or is he going to pull something crazy? Okay, is Eagle Eye? He's probably like, piece of cake. Only six? Oh? What? Bro. <laughs> You're messing with the wrong guy today. <laughs> you think a dagger is going to be any better? <gasps> oh my god. What? Dude, what in the world? And to think, the fact that Tatsuya could always do this, like... Dude... Man, hey, they're lucky they didn't end up like that other guy. Dude, he lost his whole arm, I bet he wasn't expecting that. The heck? Well, I guess Tatsuya did say they could help, too. George. Molecular divider. He knows. Oh. 
<laughs> That's true, man. Like, I get you're curious, but this is not the time, man. There are explosions outside of this facility as we speak. Dang. And what's that exactly? Huh. I wonder if hers is anything like Mari's. Because Mari had like a... Something along the lines of hypnosis, right? So what can she do? Yo? I wonder. So what did it do to them? Did it just calm them? All right, it's time to move. Oh, snap. It's time, we need you more than ever. <laughs> this dude is ready. <laughs> Silence their guns. Oh, snap. So that's how she does it. Okay. I was thinking that it would, um, I was thinking that it would involve her ice. Oh! Jesus, Tatsuya! He's just slicing through the- Dude, I feel like this anime just went from zero to a hundred this episode. Like, yeah, there were some people getting pretty brutally messed up earlier, but dang, they are not holding back. 
But I guess he doesn't have any reason to. Like, these guys are just actual terrorists. But I was going to say, when he said to silence their guns, I thought that she would have whipped out some new magic she didn't reveal to us yet. But I guess it was just like... It was still her ice magic, just used differently than normal. Dang. Coming in clutch. All right. Looks like that's where we're heading. Man. So we have to fight. Oh, well, I guess we don't have to. So that they can't access it? Hey, they were already ahead of us. Hey, Jumonji. Look at him with his goons behind him. <laughs> Oh man, that's bad. I wonder where these guys are from. Because before they had dudes speaking straight up English. So if these guys are from America, why aren't they speaking English? Dang. So there are some, but it seems manageable.
Oh, did he sense someone? Oh, they might not let us go anywhere. Oh my gosh, Tatsuya! You need to chill, man. And it's just gone. Dang. The crazy thing is, before they sent an empty truck to self-destruct into that building, this dude was about to sacrifice his life. How the hell was he able to see that so far away, man? Like, there were walls in the way. Well, I guess he must always, like, be able to, like, tap into his super perception or something. Oh, man, Jumonji. Time to whip out the barrier of a lifetime. Hey, the national defense. I didn't trust that look he gave back there. He seems kind of fishy. I don't know. He might be a mole. Or he could very well just be an actual legit member, and I might just be overthinking things. Oh, now we can see our position, or their position, I guess. Dang. Oh, the mobile suit. It's time. He's actually going to mobilize out here, dude. Hmm. What's she gotta say? Oh, snap? Is she gonna continue where they left off? Nah, close enough. Close enough.
It gets the same point across. What? Is this man evolving or something? What the heck? Or did she like bless him with some godly amount of magic? Oh, she took off the limiters! She took off the limiters, didn't she? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Bro, there's no way. There's no way. We're getting full fledged, unfiltered Tatsuya action right here, dude. Dang. Oh my god. <laughs> she took off the limiters, dude. What in the world? What are we about to witness here? What? Tatsuya was able to do- I almost forgot, man. I almost forgot. He was capable of doing all of that, even without the limiters. Now, like, who knows how much, like, percent of his power he was using before. I had some people telling me 5%, some people telling me 10%. Now that he's at a hundred percent, I don't know if he's gonna use it all, but oh my god. Just trying to imagine what 100% would look like is already blowing my mind, man. Already blowing my mind. Oh, wait, I paused it. What the heck? Let me see if there's an ending scene. Ah, oh, there is. There's a preview. Is there? No. No, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, no preview. Alright, so we are going to skip ahead. Not skip ahead, but we're going to jump over to the next episode, episode 25. Hopefully we can see some hype Tatsuya action, so I'm ready for it, man. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys right over there. Alright, so if you guys are ready for episode 25, you can click the second link in the description and pull up the source video if you are following along. Uh, if not, then just keep watching, because we'll be starting this in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, man. What the heck are we about to witness here? Is this what the front of the building's looking like? Dang, just unfazed. Oh, what? Uh, dude, I'd probably have the same reaction. What the heck? Jeez, dude, these guys look like freaking, um, these guys look like freaking, ah, oh, what are those zombies called from Left 4 Dead, man? Man, I can't remember what they're called, dude. It might not even be Left 4 Dead. Were there zombies that exploded in there? I remember the... What are they called? The boomers? The big fat ones that threw up all over the place? I don't know. But... Man, they definitely... Like, that's a traumatic sight to see, dude. Just someone, like... Uh, it's like something's festering inside of them and then it just explodes. Like, that's disgusting. But it seems like this dude was definitely holding back during his fight with Tatsuya as well. Which we know. I mean, he did use an attack that was lethal. But it seems like he's capable with... He's capable of much more lethal attacks than that. So... I don't know, man. I feel like in this anime, you can't really sleep on anyone, dude. Everyone's got some pretty sick magic. I mean, all the people that we've met, like, the people whose names we know. But, like, for example, the, um... During that fight between Tatsuya's team and the Crimson Prince's team, that third dude on the Crimson Prince's team, it didn't seem like he stood out much. It's time. The underground passageway. 
This dude is weaving past bullets. Ooh! Okay! Dang, his agility is nuts! Okay! Oh man, who was this? Who had this magic? Ah, okay, okay, okay. I remember now. I knew that little green magic circle looked familiar though. All right, she's pepping up the rest of the team. Oh no, I have a bad feeling. Oh no. Oh no. Is it gonna land in here? Oh no. Dang. Was this planned? Like, are they intentionally trying to close off this passageway? Oh, wow. Dang, what a legend. <clears throat> oh, and that's the little girl. The one that tried to get away. Dang. We need you, Tatsuya! Oh, or maybe not. Maybe not yet. Dang! Oh my god. Alright, Tatsuya, you can chill for a little bit longer, man. Seems like we've got this. Miyuki and Saigusa. Man. All right, so the police are going to take over here. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Um, one thing that I didn't realize for the long- Oh, snap! He gave her the blade. But yeah, one thing that I didn't realize for the longest is the fact that Erica had two brothers. I, like, we've seen both of these guys, but I didn't know that both of them were related to her. So, um... This guy, 
Huh. This guy, um... There's this guy who's, like, one of her brothers, and then the other brother was... What's his name? Naotsumi? The guy that fought Lu Gong Hu? The one that's dating Mari. And look at him. Dang! This is like a Iron Man mech suit, dude. Dang, man. You're giving this man too much power, dude. An airplane. There's a camera watching. Oh, is he gonna strike the plane? He's gonna dive bomb it? Dang, and just like that. So they were scouting through that. Oh man. <laughs> Oh man. Jesus, and it's literally just a pile of blood and tissue on the ground. <clears throat> He's going to fight with them. Mm-hmm. Why do they all look so sick? Uh, I guess that makes sense. They're nauseous. We gotta do this alone, George. Dude, I, I like this right here. I like the fact that they did this. Because he kind of started off as the bad guy in a lot of our eyes. But now he's really... Like, we're starting to see the good in him too. And we also kind of saw that he wasn't that bad of a guy um, back during the dance. When he danced with Miyuki. Dang. She's holding that blade like she knows how to use it. <laughs> okay, Erica. Man. Here they come. Are you gonna stop them dead in their tracks? 
Man, these... Oh my gosh. These mechs are getting handled, dude. Oh! Okay. Why was there blood there? Or was that like oil or something? Whatever's powering that thing? Or did someone just get split through the middle in the process? Dang, man. Everybody's popping off, dude. <laughs> man, that's so weird seeing blood like spurt from these mechs when they get cut. It's almost like they're alive or something. A sorcery booster. Mm. Man. Dude, Erica with that blade looks so badass, dude. That thing is huge. Look at that. That's like longer than her body. Dude, what the heck? Oh my gosh, why does she have a blade that massive? It doesn't make sense, but it's so cool. What the heck is that? Locusts? Dang. And they're attacking the helicopter. A hey. Oh! Wait, who are these other guys? Or are they all Tatsuya? Wait, were they actually all Tatsuya? Wait, hold up. Inside Gusa, dude. Did Tatsuya actually just clone himself? Tatsuya, you gotta stop that, man. Just got freaking vaporized, dude. Imagine that, dude. One second you exist, the next second you don't, man. That's insane. It's like, man, you don't even get to, like, comprehend and process how you died. It just happened. What? Bro, everybody's whipping out all sorts of crazy magics now. We got, like, magical beasts. Oh, dang. Seems like some of them have CADs, but... Is that Jumonji? Bro! What is that? 
What the heck? Dude, first we have Tatsuya with the Ma the Mark III from Iron Man. And now Jumonji's over here rocking the Hulk Buster. What the heck is going on? Ichijo. Ooh, he's starting to sniff him out. Oh, he's just taking down everyone. What did he do, like melt their brains? Oh man, you better run, dog. You better get the heck out of there. Ah, <laughs> oh. Dude, that's such a gruesome way to go, man. I'd rather be vaporized, <laughs> honestly. An invisible helicopter? Oh, snap. We're getting out of here. Who is this? Because I know we saw Saigusa use that. Okay. Dang. Oh my god! <gasps> oh my gosh, dude! Yeah, end them, dude. Get them the hell out of here. Jeez, man. My guy lost his leg, and the other guy's probably bleeding out. Auto restore? Wow, he can use it on other people too. That's sick. Just like that. But can he give the other guy's leg back? What's his name? Kirihara? Dude, actually God Suya, what the heck? <laughs> Dang, man. Lose your leg in war? Well, fear no longer. Tatsuya will make that a thing of the past. In mere seconds, dude. Oh my gosh. In this last episode, man. <laughs> uh, I feel so bad doing this to you guys, man. I feel so bad. But that is the end 
of episode 25. And we're gonna have to wait to see what Tatsu is really capable of until the next episode. And even then, that might not be like fully what he's capable of at a hundred percent. But man, I feel bad. I feel like I'm cliffhangering you guys, but hey, in a sense, I'm cliffhangering myself too, cause <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait until next week for the next episode. I would honestly, I really would record more record the final episode right now but i have some other things to, that i have to take care of so i'm sorry i can't i apologize guys but i'm sure you guys really enjoyed this episode because i know for sure that i did this episode was nuts everybody was popping off in their own ways using their own unique magics it was so cool man and even the enemies, even the enemies were starting to get more difficult because before, like, I guess anyone before Lu Gong Hu wasn't really a, like, super serious threat. Like, they didn't actually deal any damage. But now we're getting to, like, some serious threats now. We're able to handle them, but we need to, like, get the whole gang together to handle them. But now, Tatsuya, these chains that have been holding him back, suppressing him this whole time, have finally been broken. This man has a, like, almost near indestructible suit from what it sounds like. It's resistant to everything in the book. So this man has been given way too much power. And I can't wait to see what he does with it. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. Make sure to check out the Cloud Crowd Discord, link will be in the description. And also consider supporting me and my channel through Patreon for as low as $2. But with that, I'm going to head out, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.